Hello everybody, Ragtag Sagby here. Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, we did our rematch with Brian. Now, it's time to do our rematch with Candleice. Donnie, congratulations on getting into the Hall of Fame. I've been waiting for you to, sh to show up. I wish you would, I wish you made that a pun and be like, snow up here. After all, you've not only beaten me, but you also took out the Elite Four and basically became aim an overnight celebrity. That's about as cool as it gets. Thanks to you, I'm more focused than ever. I s still feel like fashion and romance, but right now I'm way more obsessed with you, Donnie. I really want to beat you, so get ready for it. Time for a rematch with Canalize. So Canalize is starter Pokemon. Will actually be a Bomba Snow. Uh, her Bomba Snow, while it was her ace the first time around, it's not her ace for this battle. But um, a Bomba Snow, so, level 68, with the ability Snow Warning. So of course she's getting that hail out because her team benefits it. Uh, with the moves, Wooden Hammer, Ice Punch, Earthquake, and Aurora Veil. It also has an Icy Rock, so this hail has been extended for 10 turns. But if you still have your Fire type, this uh, Bomber Snow is easy to take out. It's just, unless you can change the weather yourself, you're not stopping that hail from coming. Ooh, she's sending out Memo Swine. Her next Pokemon's Memo Swine, level 68. A Ice Ground type with the ability Snow Cloak. I believe Snow Cloak is an ability that activates when when a uh, hailstorm is up. Uh, boost evasion in a hailstorm. So the evasion goes up by one in a hailstorm. Its moves are Ice Shard, Earthquake, Double Edge, and Double Team. It is also holding onto an Expert Belt, so any super effective damage it does is boosted by 20%. Down goes our Obama Snow. She's going to send out Jinx. Jinx, level 70, Ice Psychic type. Hey, with the ability Dry Skin. And restores HP in rain or when hit by water type moves. Reduce HP in sunshine and increase damage when received by fire type moves, which I don't know why she has this Jinx with Dry Skin, because it doesn't benefit from the hail. I guess she has it there so that way if you try to change the weather to like rain or something she can take advantage of it but anyway with the moves blizzard focus blast sweet kiss and lovely kiss it is also holding on to a focus ash so it's gonna survive with one hp no matter what Special defense. Ah, uh, Koshi's gonna be going to sleep. Yep. So no matter what, she's gonna get a ch she's gonna get a free heal. Koshi, wake up! All the stuff that's burying in your mouth, and you'll wake up. Shadow Ball! Down goes her Jinx! If we get buffered by Hail... 
Ooh, she's gonna send out Frostlass. Frostlass, level 70, Ice Ghost type, with the ability Snow Cloak. Oh, so its evasion's gonna go up by one. With the moves, Blizzard, Shadow Ball, Double Team, and Aurora Veil. It's also holding on to a Citrus Berry, so if it survives an attack and it's at low HP, it's gonna heal. Trace, give it a lovely crunch. That's why it's faster. Strong against physical and special... I forgot Aurora Veil is practically light screen and reflect combined into one. Uh, let me see. I believe Ro of... Does Ro of Aurora Veil require... Yeah, can only be used in a hailstone. Oh, uh, storm. So, yeah. So because of the hail, she basically set up a reflect and light screen in all in one. It just requires the uh, weather, and I don't think I can break this with reflect with uh, brick break. This is the one thing is that it doesn't stack like light screen and reflect does. This Frostlass is getting super annoying. Because it's... Okay, the hail stops, so it can't use the Royal Veil anymore. And also, it cannot... And also, it's evasion that, uh, has been reduced by one. Down goes Frostlass. Gonna send out Glaceon! Level 70 with the ability Ice Body, which you can't take advantage of because the hail's gone. But if the hail was still up, it would have regained its HP e a little bit from the hail. With the moves Blizzard, Freeze Dry, Baby Doll Eyes, and Double Team, it is also holding on to some leftovers. Let's melt the ice! Yeah, that Arroyo Veil is really being a hindrance. And of course it wears off right now. Yeah, you're going to full restore Glaceon, but without that Arroyo Veil, it ain't going to save it. The only reason your Glaceon survived the first hit because it was because of Aurora Veil. I gotta see if uh, I might teach Aurora Veil to my Obama Snow now that I think about it. Anyway, here comes our final Pokemon, Weavile. Okay, it's time to focus. Weavile, one of my favorite Pokemon, is her ace for this rematch. Level 72 with the ability pressure, so we're going to be using double the PP. With the moves Ice Shard, Night Slash, Brick Break, and Exorcer. It is also holding on to a Life Orb, so its attacks will act power will increase by 30%, but it will lose 10% of its HP for every attack. Let's give you a nice four time weakness to Brick Break. And down goes her Weavile. Lola grew to level 93. You sure are impressive. You even made me lose my focus. Wow, you're really your Ely are incredible. You're even stronger than my stronger than my high expectations of you, Donnie. Takes more or than focus to be that awesome. I guess you, you call it technique, something like that. Here, I'll give you my sticker. Now you can be tw now we can be twinsies. We got our sticker. 
Oh! Time to leave Snow Point and head. Yeah, time to leave Snow Point and head for the final Idol City Sunny Shore. For our last Gym Leader rematch. So I'll end things off here. In the next episode, we will do our final rematch with Volkner. If you enjoyed this episode, do like the video, it helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment down below on your thoughts on this episode, and share the video so that way more people can discover my content and help the channel grow, and I'll see you all next time. Later.